All right, BFit Nation, here we are. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday. Welcome back to our BFit Live program with the exchange with myself, BFit Ambassador Roy Montes. Today, we are focusing on resistance training. Nice controlled movements for today with resistance training. If you're new to the program, welcome. This is your chance to focus on yourselves, to focus on a little bit of strength, a little bit of cardio-based movements, resistance-based movements, and some light work here. <clears throat> Dumbbells, if you have them, go ahead and grab those now. But we will go through a just under 20-minute workout for you today uh, to help get the blood flow moving, to help get the oxygen moving through your body, and to help focus on those specific muscle groups that can help you throughout your daily activities, as well as if you are training for any type of test coming up, uh, these movements can be very beneficial for you as well. If you're looking to challenge yourself today, uh, go with the heavier side of the weight that you may have available to you. If you're looking to just kind of <clears throat> stretch and flex and, and, and look to move your body a little bit more, and if you do not have any dumbbells available to you or any type of resistance training, uh, that's quite all right. Each of these movements can be scaled back to your fitness level and uh, to whatever weight uh, you may have around for you. All right, team. Uh, once again, BFit Live, uh, just under 20 minutes worth of an at-home or anywhere programmed workout. So take this on the go. All of our previous videos are cataloged here on Facebook as well as YouTube under our BFit playlist. Um, but I have you up on my screen. I hope you were dialed in, find your space, get settled in. Again, towel, water, uh, dumbbells, and a mat. If you have a mat, uh, we do have Movement number four, that's going to be focused all on our core activity, our core stability here. So if you have a mat, go ahead and grab that as well. We will be on our back for uh, a different movement for each round. And I'll go ahead and call those out to you as well uh, once we get through the workout. So again, uh, resistance training workout, res resistance training movements for today. So uh, think about form, think about um, mind to muscle connection, um, think about moving nice and controlled nice and slow, uh, but uh, to your fitness level, once again, to your comfort level and to your tempo. Okay, find something, find a tempo, find a weight that's challenging for us for today. Uh, give me all the effort that you have for today and let's get it in team. Um, I'll go ahead and demo each of the four movements for today. Then we will jump into some dynamic stretching and then into our workout team. Um, I have my video up. So if you have any questions, any comments, uh, anything that you would like to discuss or uh, feel free and leave a note in the comments below, right below here on our Facebook page. Uh, let us know where you're joining from. We always like to see our BFIT community spanning across the world here. So whether you're morning or afternoon or evening, uh, wherever you may be within your location, uh, let us know in the comments below. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. And I hope this helps motivate and encourage and helps keep us on the right track for a healthy lifestyle living. All right, team. So let's go through the movements. Uh, one through four for today. That way we know exactly what we're going to tackle. All right, team. We have some lower body movements. We have some combination of lower and upper body movements. And then we have some core specific activated movements for today. All right. Starting off with movement number one, team. Movement number one, <clears throat> we are going to come to, <clears throat> actually, we're going to grab two dumbbells here. Two dumbbells here. We have a combo movement here. So a little bit of upper body and lower body movement, team. So we are going to stand with our feet. Shoulder width apart. As always, we want that soft bend at our knees. We never want to lock out our knees. It's going to put a lot of pressure on our joints, on our knees as well. So soft bend at those knees. Palms are going to be facing us. From here, we're going to extend up into a hammer curl. <clears throat> okay, hammer curl, bicep curl. From here, within that front rack position, we're going to take our stance, shoulder width apart once again. We're going to sit back into a squat, drive up through our heels, Control that movement on the way up and on the way down. Back to starting position is going to be at that standing position. Once again, hammer curl into a front rack squat is going to be movement number one. Again, you know what? I don't think I went through the timing for today, but just to let you know, team, the timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements, which I'm going to demo right now. Um, Four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Team. All right, once again, 40 on, 20 off. Four movements, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Don't worry, we don't have to memorize that because I will be with you every step of the way. Christine, oh, I hope you're joining me. I hope you are. Hi, Julie, how are you? I hope everybody's having a great start to your week. And Stacey, as always, good to see you in the chat. Great to see you. 
All right, let's get after it. I know you will. Okay, team. So that's gonna be movement number one, bicep curl with that front rack position. So you're gonna hold that weight off of your shoulders here. So bicep curl into that front rack squat. That's gonna be movement number one. Movement, more, movement number two, we are focusing on core stability control with a T push up. So we're gonna come down into our high plank position. Hands are gonna be stacked underneath our shoulders. Push up on those toes, nice flat back. Key point here is to keep our hips square to the floor. We're gonna go down into our push up from here, extend up, and then follow that gaze, follow those fingertips up into the sky making that T formation with your arm, keeping those hips square to the floor and those toes grounded on the floor as well. So T push up here, come back down, control, push up, and then alternate left hand and right hand. Again, your gaze should be following those fingertips as you come up into that rotational movement, okay? If we need to scale back a little bit, here we go. Our push up is going to be off of our knees. All right, make sure to lead with that chest on the way down. You still want that nice flat back, extend up, and then raise up into a high plank and then go into your rotation. All right, team? So push up with a T rotation. So T push ups for movement number two. Movement number three, we're gonna work a little bit of lateral lunges here. So a different plane of motion here. So instead of front to back or instead of static with that squat, <clears throat> we're gonna go left to right here. We don't always work front to back, forward and backwards. So we gotta move, we gotta move left to right. So <clears throat> we're working on lateral lunges here for movement number three. Stand at the center of our workout space here. From here, we're gonna extend that right and or left leg out. And we're gonna drop those hips back, making sure that front knee at that bend tracks over our toes. So keeping our chest up into that lateral lunge and then extend up. We're gonna do 20 seconds on each leg with that static lunge, that static lateral lunge. All right, team, 20 seconds to the right, 20 seconds to the left. Again, if we have those dumbbells, we're gonna head and grab those with that static lunge. We are going to front rack them once again. So just a little bit of an isometric hold on our bicep. So our biceps are gonna be fully activated here, front rack and push those hips back, okay? Option number two, if we don't front rack, we can hold them down keep that chest up into that lateral lunge, all right? That's gonna be movement number three. Again, 20 seconds to the left, 20 seconds to the right. All right, last and final movement for today, for the workout actually, is gonna be movement number four. We're gonna do a combination, <clears throat> a progression actually, <clears throat> through movement number four. It's gonna be focusing on our core. So all four movements, or all four movements throughout each round are gonna be on our back. So if you have a mat, if you need, if it's comfortable for you, if not, quite all right. <clears throat> we have movement number one for round number one. So round number one, we have flutter kicks, all right? So we're gonna lay on our back here. Hands can be on our temple. They could be underneath our glutes. They could be by our side. We're gonna extend our legs out straight and we are going to flutter kick here, all right? To your tempo, to your control. Um, that's gonna be round number one. Round number two, we're looking at knee tucks, all right? So point those toes up and we are working on bringing those knees up and those hips up towards our chest, all right? So that's gonna be knee tucks for movement or for round number two, actually. So scaling up here, round number two, gonna be knee tucks. Round number three, we are back into leg raises. So feet are extended nice and straight, extend down, control that movement on the way down and on the way up, all right? If we wanna scale this movement up, think about leading with those toes. As you come up, we'll get those hips up. All right, that's gonna be round number three. And round number four, a little bit of oblique activation here with heel taps. So feet are gonna be planted on the floor here and we are looking at touching our heels, rotating from the left and to the right. So keeping that core contracted, our shoulder blades are off the floor here and we are reaching for our heels for 40 seconds. All right, team, how does that sound? That's gonna be the four plus movements, four plus movements for today. All right, Julie, good to see you're doing good. Okay, let's go into dynamic stretches, team. We wanna make sure that our body is nice and warmed up before we perform any of these movements here. Again, nice and controlled movements for our resistance training for today. So let's start off a little bit light. We may have been seated, we may have been um, 
isolated or just static for a long period of time. So let's go into hip circles here. Right leg back and then right leg forward. Nice big circles with our hips here. We're looking to warm up our hips, warm up our joints, warm up our muscle groups here. So something nice, something a little light, something to get our blood flowing here and to get our heart rate slowly elevated into our working sets. So a few 30 seconds here on every dynamic stretch and then we will go into our workout. All right, nice and controlled here. Again, feel free and get creative here. If you wanna scale up in your weight, let's do it. If you need to get creative with some resistance, with some training, with some uh, dumbbells, if you don't have the kettlebell may be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do that as well. All right, team. Let's look into reverse lunges with a reach. So we're gonna come to the top of our workout space here and we're gonna go back into that reverse lunge. So right leg goes back, left, right arm goes up and right arm reaches over to our left side. All right, come back to standing position here. Left leg goes back, left arm goes up and left arm reaches over to our right side. Keeping our chest up nice and proud as we extend back into our reverse lunge. Nice controlled movement here. You can feel that stretch in our hips, our hip flexors, feeling our quads, our glutes, our hamstrings engaged. As we just kind of go through this motion here, this movement here, but with a purpose, this is gonna be beneficial for that front rack squat here. Our legs are getting some blood flow here. Feeling that reach over, feeling your lats stretch out nice and tall. All right, team, last two, one. All right, team, let's stand up nice and tall here. We have diagonal straight leg kicks. All right, we're gonna feel that stretch here and activation in our hamstring. So nice, strong kicks out to the left and to the right. Halloween's coming up, some call these zombie kicks or mummy kicks. <laughs> Uh, who can tell me why? <laughs> I know. All right, team. Last three here. Out in two. Last one here. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, team. Let's go into YTWs. Let's warm up our mid to upper back with a rotation that's coming in with the T push up. This is going to help out nicely. So we're going to stand nice and tall here. Center is going to be hands together. Nice, strong foundation, as always. Set yourself up, think about that nice, strong foundation, no matter uh, what movement you're getting into, even if this is dynamic stretch, center here. All right, nice big Y with our hands and thumbs facing out here. Come back to center, big T, bring those shoulder blades back and big W here, squeezing with those biceps, shoulder blades back once again, feeling some shoulder mobility here, stretching out here, big T. Focus on our breathing as well. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Exhale as you come back to center. Nice big Y here, good. All right, big T, last big W here. With a smile, that'll round us out for our dynamic stretching team. All right, all right, grab that water, grab that towel. Let's get ready to work. I'm gonna set my timer here. Again, if you have any comments or any questions, let me know. I know, Halloween, Frankenstein. <laughs> yes, zombie kicks, absolutely. <laughs> good work, good work. Way to stay with me here. Again, timing for today, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements with a little extra, and four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds, team. All right, I have my timer set. I have my clock ready. Let's get that pair, those pair of dumbbells with that bicep curl to front rack squat coming up first. All right, team, 10 seconds here. Grabbing my pair of dumbbells. All right, five seconds here, bicep curl with a front rack squat. Two, one, here we go team. Bicep curl here, front rack squat. Take this one nice and controlled. We have 40 seconds of work here. Drive up to those heels. We wanna make every movement purposeful and intentional, all right? So. Hands, palms facing each other with that bicep curl. Keep those elbows tucked in close to our torso. That's movement number one. Step it up into two movements here with that squat. Last eight seconds here. We have two more reps in this. Whew, drive up through our heels. 
out in three, keep that chest up, two, one, and rest, recover here, recover, recover. All right, team, set aside those weights here. We have a T push up coming up. All right, core engagement, glute engagement, even though you may not think with that rotation, all right, that little thoracic rotation. So our back is going to be working nice and strong here. Three, we're up in two, one. Here we go, team. All right, high plank position here. We're down into our push up, nice strong push up. And then a rotation at the top. Again, gaze follows our fingertips. Good job, keeping on our toes here. Good. <clears throat> Making sure that our hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. That's gonna be the most comfort here when you're going down into your push up, and it'll take a lot of pressure off of your shoulder. You want everything aligned here, everything aligned. Four seconds here, finish this out. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. 20 seconds of rest here, 20 seconds to recover, and we're going into our lateral lunges. Lateral lunges here with dumbbells, without. Eight seconds here. <clears throat> A pair of dumbbells, even if you have one dumbbell, let's grab it from the top of the head here. Two, one, here we go. 20 seconds to the right, and then 20 seconds to the left. Come back to center, or we can keep with that static motion here, dropping those hips back. Make sure those hips go back. Make sure that front knee is tracking over our toe. If it is not, sit those hips back a little bit more. 20 seconds here. Let's come back to center. Extend out to the opposite side and drive up through your heel. Good. Really outside of our quad, working nice and strong here. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, as always. Be mindful with your movements here always to your comfort level, challenge yourself, but to your comfort level as well. No weights are needed, as you can see, for a lot of these flutter kicks coming up in five seconds. I'm gonna take my seat on the floor here. <clears throat> we have flutter kicks coming up, 40 seconds of work. We are on our backs, two, one, 40 seconds here. Nice controlled movements, go a long way, all right? Bring those shoulder blades off of the floor, keeping our toes locked up, towards the sky. Good, 20 seconds here. We are halfway there. Good, good, good. 12 seconds. Stay with us here. Out in eight. Good, keep that core tight. Out in three, two, one. And recover here. This is where we get to regroup. 60 seconds of rest here. We are regrouping grab that towel, grab that water. Let's shake it off. All right. First round, we learned it. Second round, we scale up, we own it. All right, team. So that's the deal. That's the deal. Now that we know the movements, we get to scale up. All right. Kind of judge how that first round felt and whether or not we can either increase the tempo, we can increase the weight, uh, seeing how we feel today. All right. Every day is different. Every day our body feels different. So it's important to really analyze yourself before your workout, during your workout, how your workout is doing now, how it's progressing. 20 seconds here as we rest, as we recover, and then we will jump back into our workout. So bicep curl to front rack squat, coming up in 13 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my weight here. Thinking about raising the tempo just a little bit, up in five seconds. Four, standing nice and tall here. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Bicep curl into our front rack squat. All right, here's a good little point here. Be mindful of our dumbbell. Let's try to not let it rest on our shoulder, but we want our elbow directly underneath our wrist, right? Shoulder width apart. That's gonna help engage our biceps just with the hole, just to hold up our weight. Good, drive up through those heels. Last 10 seconds. Chest is up as we go down with our squat. Head is looking straight ahead. Out in three, last rep here. Two, one, and recover. Good job. Good job, how did that feel? <laughs> Good, I like to make things nice and controlled, especially with our weight. It helps our body read and analyze through every rep. Six seconds here, T push-ups coming up in four, 
three, high plank position here, coming up. Here we go, team. Feet, talk about our foot placement. Our feet are about shoulder width apart here. That's gonna help with stability. All right, into a push-up. If you were just doing push-ups alone, that can help you have a stronger foundation if your foot placement is a little wider. If your feet are together, it's gonna <laughs> be a little bit more challenging. It's not wrong, just a little bit more challenging. 13 seconds here. Make sure to follow your gaze with your fingertips. Toes are planted on the floor. Add in five. Coming up on one hand, really engages our core too. And time, good job. <laughs> Good work, lateral lunges coming up. Different plane, different plane of motion. All right, I knew it, Stacey. We are nice and warmed up after round number one. Three seconds here. All right, team, center of our workout space here. We're dropping to the right here. Static lunge, drive it right back up. Good. Make sure to adjust your foot placement as well. These toes should be in a line with each other. Good, think about a line on your floor. Toes should be right up on that same line. 20 seconds in, let's go ahead and alternate to the left or the opposite direction. Keeping our chest up as we push those hips back. Out in 10. <clears throat> Last five. Three, two, one more rep in. And time, good job, what a recover, recover, recover. <clears throat> All right, team. Round two, core exercise number two, knee drives, knee tucks. On our backs here, heels are on the floor here. Two, one. All right. Our back is on the floor this time. Head is on the floor this time. We're looking to drive our knees to our chest. So knee tucks here. We are... Taking the ACFT, we know all about knee tucks. This is a great modification to do virtually anywhere without hanging off of a bar, but still getting that same movement pattern, engaging those same muscle groups, 10 seconds here. Knee tucks, also known as reverse crunches. <laughs> Three, two, one, and last rep time. Good job. Good work, good work. Way to switch it up with me here for our core movements. Good job, how are we feeling? How are we doing? Grab that water, stay fresh with me. Again, setting ourselves up for success with hydration, making sure that we have a good balanced breakfast. Remember to fuel ourselves. <clears throat> now it's not for everybody, depending on how early we work out or, or whatnot, it may be uh, may dictate whether we like to eat before or directly after. But 20 seconds here, find out what works for you. Everybody is different. All right, everybody is different. Front rack squat, bicep curl to front rack squat coming up in 12 seconds. All right, here we go. Finding a pair of dumbbells here. <clears throat> Five seconds, team. We are pushing, we are doing some work in three, two, one. Bicep curl, bicep curl, front rack into our squat. Good, keeping our chest up as we go down. Nice, strong bicep curls. Drive up through our heels. And if we need to challenge ourselves a little bit more, we can raise the tempo. We can go a little faster than myself. Or we can go a little heavier on the weight. Out in 12. If you're looking to spice things up on the bottom end, Think about adding a pulse, then driving up. Last three, down squat, pulse, back down, and drive up. There we are, 20 seconds of rest here. Ooh. Okay, we came to work today, team. <laughs> 10 seconds here, two push-ups coming up. <laughs> All right, we're back on the floor here. <clears throat> Third round, second best round. All right, 40 seconds on the clock here. Let's go team. Down. Nice control movements with our push up. Again, if we need to regress, let's drop to our knees, then come up to our high plank 
And then we're back down into a push up. If we're in that high plank, try that rotation. If we don't have that rotation today, let's go push up into a high plank. Pause on each one, push up. Pause on the top. Good, last eight seconds. Add in five, last three, two, one, and recover. Good job, we're back up top. Nice and tall here for some lateral lunges. <laughs> 10 seconds here. Good job team, stay with me. We're doing good. A little bit of lower body and upper body, full body workout for today coming up. Two, one, I'm going to my right. <sighs> lateral lunges with that static lunge on the side. We can drive back up to standing or stay right here into that lateral lunge. Five seconds, we're gonna switch sides. Two, last rep, drive up. Good, set yourself up in the middle again. Back out to our left, push those hips back. That front knee is tracking over that front toe. Keep that chest up on the way down and on the way up. Head is looking up, straight ahead. Added three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. Nice control with that one. Nice control. All right, team. We are back on the ground here. We have leg raises. Try to keep our legs nice and straight. Toes are pointing up. Up in three seconds here. On the floor here. Two, one. Legs are extended all the way out and drive up. All right. Control our movement here. Again, if we have it in us today, laid with our toes, a little bit of hip, a little bit of a hip drive, hip elevation here. Good, last 17 seconds. Good, if we need to scale it back, let's do heel on the floor, no weight on it, one leg at a time. Five seconds, three, two, one and recover. <laughs> Don't stay down here for too long. 60 seconds of rest here. And then we're into our final round, our last and final round, team. <laughs> Good job today. Good work today. I see we brought our effort today. We brought our A game. Good job. 40 seconds of rest here while we recover. Think about challenging ourselves for this last and final round. All right, team. And we're all in on this round. All right, we set ourselves up nice and strong through these last three rounds. We're pushing our way through every step of the way, every rep of the way, right? Really think about our movement patterns. Really think about our kinetic form, our chain, our kinetic chain. We're moving 10 seconds. We're all warmed up. So let's dial it in for this last and final round. Bicep curls, the front rack squat coming up in seven. Here we go, five, three, two, feet shoulder width apart, bicep curl down into our squat. Really drive up through those heels. Think about driving up. As you go down, drive up through your heels, engage your quads, glute activation at the top. Good. Keep our chest up, shoulders rolled back. Our gaze is looking straight ahead. Good. 13 seconds here. Dumbbells are off of our shoulders, elbows underneath our wrists. Good. Send those hips back. Last rep here. Finish this out. Ah, yes. Good job. 20 seconds of rest here. 20 seconds of rest. We won't see that movement again today unless you repeat this workout. <laughs> 10 seconds here. T push ups, high plank position. Let's get ready. Let's get on the floor here. Hands underneath shoulders. Nice flat back. We are up in that high plank. Two, one. Here we go, team. Nice strong push up. Feet again, shoulder width apart. Let's finish this round out. Nice and strong. We've been doing great. The full workout here. Let's continue to push. If it's the full motion, if we scale back off of our knees, if we're holding a high plank, let's do it, team. Finish out together, add in 12. Good. Add in seven, five, 
hips are square to the floor. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good work. Way to finish that one out. Good job, good job. 10 seconds here, recover, stand up nice and proud. Lateral lunges coming up. Five seconds here, center of my workout space. I'm gonna send out to my right in three, two, one. 40 seconds on the clock here. Again, lateral lunge to your comfort, to your depth. Toes are in alignment. Chest is up as we extend out to our right and or to our left. Five seconds, we're gonna switch sides. Two, one. All right, team, heading over to my left side. Left side, strong side. <laughs> All right, keep it up, team. 10 seconds here. Really pushing through this one. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, team. Last and final movement here. We're looking at heel taps. All right. We're gonna take a seat here. Make sure to adjust our heels. Palms are gonna be facing up. We're on our back here and we are reaching for our heels. Coming up in three, two, one. Here we go team, bring those shoulder blades off of the floor. Head is looking up at the ceiling, at the sky, whatever is above us and reach for our heels. Now think about this. Wherever our heels are right now, 20 seconds in, let's take them out an inch and really reach for those heels. Really squeezing our core, firing up our abductors, our obliques. Five seconds here. Reach for it. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Okay, we showed up big today, BFit Nation. A good round of applause for us today. Fantastic, fantastic work. Stacy, Stacy, great job once again. Feeling the burn. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If it doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us, right? <laughs> All right. As we cool down, as we bring our heart rate back down, think about that breathing. We need to really kind of freestyle and add in some additional stretches to our cooling down routine. Let's go ahead and do that while y'all stretch out. When you move around, get that drink of water, towel off, and really think about where our, what our bodies have been through through today's workout, right? We've, we've really activated and really asked a lot from our lower body, our glutes, our quads, our hamstrings, our core engagement, right? Chest, shoulders, mid to upper back, the full package here. We, we asked from a lot, we asked for a lot from today's workout from our bodies. So great work today. Like I say, every day is a workout, whether you're in the gym, whether you're thinking about it or not, some of these same foundational movements that we do outside of the gym, this is what it prepares, prepares us for, right? Um, again, again, these movements here can be functional outside of the gym. Think about that. I mean, uh, into a squat, right? Bicep curl. Are we picking up groceries? Are we picking up our kids? You know, is, is it a squat position? Are we bending down? Are we squatting down to uh, get into a car? Are we, you know, standing back up outside of a chair off of the dinner table? These foundational movements are key, right? Our core engagement, that's going to help protect us uh, to help us stay injury free and to give us that support and stability that we need to stand back up, that we need to walk, that we need to go left or to go right or go into that um, push up position, any, anything like that. So great work today, team. Good job. Way to push through. Again, a lot of these movements are foundational. They're functional and they can really help us to progress and uh, live that healthier lifestyle that we are trying to achieve here with our BFit Nation crew and with our BFit Nation team. All right, team. Um, again, support this workout, supplement this workout with um, uh, healthier choices better for you choices with nutrition. As a reminder, our exchange restaurants offer 1,700 uh, restaurants that are available to you. Surf the menu, find those better for you options within our exchange um, stores. As always, in, within our mall areas, we have wellness services like uh, some installations have uh, cryo or uh, healthcare or durable medical equipment or dental. Uh, remember, it's treating ourselves from the inside out as well. Uh, be mindful of that avenue of that channel, okay? We wanna make sure to hit 
from a holistic standpoint, standpoint as far as health and wellness goes, get that uh, nice and proper sleep, uh, being able to let your body rest and recover. All right, treat ourselves nice and strong, uh, but also um, with that mindfulness of a holistic health and wellness approach. All right, team, our express stores, as a reminder, have healthier snacking options. Um, if you go through our express stores and you visit, go surf down the aisles, you'll see a nice green tag that sells healthier choices. All right, team, that's going to be a healthier, smart snacking option that can help you get from your uh, A to B scenario as far as uh, eating goes, okay, from breakfast to lunch. Get those healthy, healthier choices snacks and that's available at your express. All right, and you're looking for any additional fitness and uh, workout gear, uh, head on over to our shopmyexchange.com page. All right, team, and we will take care of you as far as your athletic apparel, your sporting goods, your footwear, uh, fitness trackers, and all the wearables that you need to help track and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Well, good work today, as always. Back again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. I will be with you. Um, and great work today. Just great work. Really, way to go. Way to focus on yourselves for today. Have a great rest of your day. Have a nice, strong start to your week and continue on throughout the week. I wish you all the best health and wellness wise. Take care. Roman Montes, Deep Ambassador signing off. Bye guys.